An oh, oh. Annie Trump. Are you a uh, are you a, a Trump? Is that your uh, well, I want to be. Yeah, well, you know. Like Donald, I think. We could all be. In a drunken stupor, this Trump supporter tells us exactly why she's excited to vote MAGA. Watch this. We could all be cousins somewhere down the line. All right. Are we on RSBN? Yeah, no, we're live right now. Nice. I want to farm all a John Deere, a case, um, more oil, oil, oil. Drill, baby, drill. Yes, thank you. Good seeing you. She's excited to be here. Annie Trump. Yes. There you go. The wine seems to be flowing heavy with countless dazed voters like this one meeting the end of one too many drinks. And to them, it's like Christmas where they can sit on MAGA Santa's lap and tell them exactly what they want. Like lawn equipment and more oil drilling. <laughs> But the inebriated state of the alt-right poses unique challenges. Going into this quickly approaching 2024 presidential election. And while our MAGA grunt sobers up from her wild night, us progressives have one question. How much tequila is enough tequila to support Donald Trump? Is there anything that would disqualify Donald Trump um, from getting your vote, sir? Absolutely not. <laughs> Nope. Not a thing. Nothing. I don't care if he grabs by the blankety blank blank. No, absolutely not. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die like the Johnny Cash song? Well, then he f***ing probably deserved it. If he didn't, run. <laughs> what is it that you love about Donald Trump? Donald Trump is honest, open, and he's just like the rest of us. Maybe it's his raunchy tone or sensationalism. But conservatives have grown attached to Trump. He's the senile racist at family events that most of us would ignore. But for Republicans, is the figment of Uncle Sam that they want to take out for a beer. And in many ways, Donald Trump has done the impossible, essentialized his politics into his personality. And by doing so, has locked swaths of supporters into a blind, parasocial commitment to his platform. Politics is not just about feelings. It's about brotherhood despite difference. And I mean, come on, that's like the most American thing you can do. But when it comes to Republicans, nothing, not democracy or justice or even the climate fate of the world, stands above loyalty to an entitled psychopath. So maybe it's time to put down the drink and get serious because 2024 is just around the corner. And trust me, Republicans, you will not be celebrating. This is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.